Hi there, this is Max from AppRe.io. Now in this short video, I'm going to show you how to expose a database store procedure as a REST API and also a database function as a REST API. All right, so let's get started. Now, right now I have the API Express tab open and that's what we're going to use to expose uh, or to build our APIs. But of course we need to have an existing store procedure uh, or a function. So I'm going to switch to my database that is being hosted on hostbody.com. Again, it's a, it's a third party uh, database service. And I already have a function and a store procedure. Obviously, you can use an existing one, but you can also as easily uh, create a new one if you would like. So first, let's see, let's look at the store procedure and I have under procedures here, so message and backup. And mine, all it does, it, it does two inserts. So it will insert the message into the message table, and then it will also insert the same message into the backup table, all right? Now, and for the function, I have increment, and this is also a pretty simple one. It takes a number and will increment the number by one, all right? So obviously, pretty, pretty simple stuff, but really useful um, when doing uh, an example. And again, you can use more complicated, more sophisticated, um, you know, function or sort of procedure. That's obviously entirely up to you. All right, so let's go back to API Express and then we'll create a new service. And first is a group name here or folder and we're gonna call the service now. Because we need to use, we need to basically specify the actual query, we need to use the custom REST API option. I'm going to click create. And then what this does, it will load the visual service builder. All right. And taking the SQL component and doing drag and drop like this. All right. So let's give this a name. Let's start with the um, function first. So we'll just call this a function. All right. Function. All right. And then we'll go to SQL. Select the database connection. There's only one. And then here, actually write the query. So in our case, this is a select increment, and then we can just kind of hardcore the number just to try. Let's do nine, all right? Now we can test this particular component by clicking generate. We can run SQL, all right? And you can see the result is 10, right? So this works. Of course, you wanna be able to pass in this information. So we'll take care of that in just a second. First, let's go to the start, to the input into the service. And I'm going to pass in as a parameter, as a request parameter. So for example, count, just need to spell it correctly. And I want to make it to be a, a number. All right. Now I go back to the SQL component. And then here, we'll create a parameter. Now when you put a parameter here, then clicking parse SQL parameters will automatically parse the query and you can see that the num is now uh, shown here and it's a number and you want to map it to count right so count is the input into the service and then it will be mapped into this query which is really the SQL component right and you can test this again and you can see there is a number so let's do 99 run right and you can see that now we get 100 okay um, very cool. So let's, um, we can set the response. So this is the response uh, of the service and it automatically sets to body. So this is what we need. All right, let's save. And now we're ready to test the actual service that we just built. So you can see this is the, this is the service and you can see the count right here. Now when enter, when I enter the number here, so let's do Right, you can see it is replaced here, and then I click test service, and here, here's the result. Okay, so very simple, very fast. Um, and so, again, we just exposed a database function as a REST API, and again, this is the REST API. You know, and once you have this API, you can quickly build an app with this REST API in the app Preio app builder. Okay. 
So this takes care of the function. Now let's do the store procedure, which is pretty much as simple. So we're going to leave the service as is. Let's close. We'll create a new service. And we'll give this um, a name. Just call this store. And as before, drag and drop a SQL component. Select the database and then call and let's see what the name is. So this is the name, so just copy. All right, and then again, as before, we can just hardcode the message. Um, we'll just say, um, try right, and let's click, let's click generate. To test, again, this particular component, click run SQL. Now, so there is no result from the store procedure. Um, so we can just go uh, click close and then, so this is the backup table and if I hit refresh, you can see that the message is right here. And if I look in the message, you can see that this is the one uh, that was also just inserted, All right? So as before, let's go to, uh, to the start, for the service and we'll create a query parameter which is a string and then we'll go back to SQL and then we'll just call this maybe to do uh, parse as before now we'll just make it to be a string and then as before we're going to map it to the message right so again the message is the input into the API Express service and then the message will be mapped into this uh, query all right so let's save. Uh, and again, you can test this component again, or uh, we can um, jump right away into actually running the service or testing the actual API Express service. And then build the service with API Express and then test. All right, so again, no re really response here, but if we go back to the database, click refresh, right, we can see that the ID is 45, so build the server with the API Express. And if I go to, I'm sorry, backup, you can see that the message is here, uh, is here as well, all right? And again, the actual REST API is, is right here. Okay, so as, as simple um, as um, with the function, um, I think really you're going to spend more time, you know, uh, thinking or thinking about the actual store, store procedure than really doing anything here. Um, but it's just the name, you pass in the parameters and you are uh, ready to go. And if we close now, you can see both functions, I'm sorry, both REST APIs uh, that we just built using API Express are now um, listed here all right so hopefully this was useful um, definitely you know, sign up for operate if operate.io if you're new and uh, give this a try and again thank you for watching